Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi and welcome. My name is Michelle and I am here with your weekly reading. I just want to say thank you for everybody to support my channel and also a reminder that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Remember, these are general readings, okay? This is not just a one person story, it's many, okay? So with that said, keep in mind that you can take whatever does resonate and whatever does not. You can always let it go. Again, general readings, okay? Also guys, I look at my tinny line right here. I went to the park the other day and oh my goodness, I forgot to put sunscreen and guess what happened? I got burnt. But hey, we good, we good. So let's take a look at what the universe has for you, Virgo. Let's take a look. Before anything, we're going to start with your past. Then we're going to move forward with future, love, new love, and career. Because I do, and also, I also will do Virgo singles. So you might need to skip a little bit more if that's what you're looking for. And with that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you. Also, I am on social media. If you want to find me, I, I, I am on Instagram and on TikTok as well. I'm under the Baby Wish Del Tarot. If you're interested, all the information you need is going to be in the box down below. And with that said, now we're going to go with your reading, okay? So let's see what we have for Virgo. Um, Spirit, please and thank you. Can you tell me what's up with Virgo's past? Can you give me a little bit of cards? for very goes past thank you spirit so we have the nine of cups in the reverse you could be dealing with a water sign such as pisces cancer scorpio thank you spirit then we got the justice card in reverse you can also be uh could have been dealing with an air sign such as libra let's see then we got the judgment card yes libra card here you could be you could have dealt with a libra person with the king of pentacles this could be you and the Ten of Swords Scorpio energy here as well. And thank you, Spirit. And then we have the Queen of Swords in that reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King, the Knight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, in that reverse here. So in the past, um, you guys had issues with your love life. Um, I feel like it could be a specific person. It could be a feeling. But I feel like for some of you, and again, this is for a specific group, not everybody, obviously. Uh, somebody was dealing, like I said before, with this water sign that I feel it was not completely honest with you. They were not um, straightforward. Things were not really balanced or... Maybe for you, things did not add up. Whatever they were telling you here and there, it was kind of like suspicious. And you were like, I don't think they're being honest with me. I think they're hiding something from me. And when the judgment card, you could quite not put a finger on it. And maybe you could not at the time, um, at that moment, maybe you couldn't like pretty much find it or find the truth or pretty much find proof. But with the Knight of Pentacles, I mean the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, I feel like somehow you found some sort of proof. Or it could have been that they told you straightforward what was going on with them. And that did break your heart. And it felt it felt like a huge betrayed. You felt really betrayed. It felt like a huge betrayal. You felt really cheated on and really, really um you felt like your trust was uh violated. Violated. Is that like that? Yes, that's the word I was looking for. With the uh, Queen of Swords right here, I feel whenever you got that notice or that news, if you want to put it like that, you quite did not know how to react to it. It was in a way unexpected because even though you had doubts with this person, um, you wanted to be proved wrong, right? And I got comments saying like people are not here to know about the past, but hey, like I said, I'm here to serve everybody, not just one person okay so here i'm just wrapping up the most important thing and your past because your past always kind of like reflects on the future okay so that is what i got from your past like i said it's not really as important because past already passed right but i always like to touch bases with that that's my style right so with that said Let's go ahead with the now. And let's see. Let's see with my cards. What messages do we have? Let's see what your person is not telling you. Or what your person does not want you to know. And your person is the person or the name that popped in your head whenever I said it. Or the image that popped into your head whenever I said it. Like I said, you'll know better than me. 
so spirit can you give me a couple cards oh thank you so much so the first card says i am afraid afraid of loving you then we got jeesh stop asking the same question and please listen to the answers okay maybe you're asking a lot of the same questions here and maybe you're not really listening so we have stop wasting your energy on people that are not giving you the time of day and then we got I knew we belonged together since the first time I saw you. Then we got, I am not giving up on us. If you gave me, and the other card says, if you gave me a chance, I can show you who I am. And last one says, you always made me laugh. Laugh, I mean. At the bottom of the deck, we have, I am ready to love you the right way. And then I've, in reverse says, too proud to say it out loud. So your person, you know, perhaps, or, you know, after whatever happened in between you two or the separation, you know, like I said before, you know better than me. They seem really, for what I can tell right now, without looking into it completely, they seem somehow re um, regretful of their decisions. Um they know they messed up. They know they played the wrong cards. They know they played the wrong game. Or, I know you're not a game, but this is just the only word that it popped into my head. Um, but yeah, it's like, I feel like this is like an on and off relationship here. So, it could be like you guys fight and then make up. So, this could be something that you're already familiar with this person. I feel like you've known this person for a bit. And this is not quite a surprise for you because for some of you, you always know that this person comes back around. But it's a little bit toxic and you know this. Um, let's take a look at what up with here because I feel like you have trust issues with this person. And of course, I know why. And somehow also there is abandonment issues as well uh, from your side, from their side as well, you know. So let's take a look. Universe, what can you give me about, about this situation with Virgo and this person? Thank you so much. So we got the Queen of Swords and the Reverse. Then we got the Hermit card, your card, Virgo. Then we got the Ace of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. One more. We got Page of Cups right here. The, seven, the Nine of Cups, I'm sorry. Thank you, Spirit. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. And then we have the Death Card in Reverse, again, Scorpio Energy. At the bottom, we have Three of Wands. Three of Wands. And that Chariot right here, which is Cancer Energy here. Oh my goodness. So, with the Queen of Swords right here, um, I feel like you were quite confused maybe or you could have been like you were really a little bit tired of the situation and you stopped maybe maybe acting on it or communicating with this individual like i don't see you doing a lot towards this energy with herman right here um i feel like you went in i was gonna say incognito <laughs> i don't know why i was gonna say it but you went on you know i wouldn't say ghost ghosting them because ghosting is when you are avoiding somebody you don't answer calls or so which some people get upset about but i'm like that is the term what by ghosting you know but maybe that's what you did you're ghosting them this could also be a cross watcher watching this so you you know put this the best way like you be the other way around but somebody ghosted somebody i feel it's because you did not know if it was you if it was you you did not know what kind of like move was the right one you were quite unsure so that's why um you did not, you know, you maybe you step back and you stop talking to this person and maybe you're not answering their calls or so. It's because you really, really need the time. It's like you need to uh, time to reflect, time to analyze, to pretty much double check if it's, it's actually what you want to do or if it's actually pretty much the right thing to do to like get give this person a chance because this person seems to be maybe texting you a lot calling you a lot because they seem to want a second chance here they really want to talk to you and i feel this time it feels a little bit more when it comes to your side because you're like you, you could be a little bit tired of the situation you're like you know what i really don't want to deal with this person anymore or i cannot deal with this person right now that could be also the energies like like i'm getting right now 
we got the ace of pentacles and we also have the page of cups right here so this person i see this person like knocking at your door pretty much going where you live or where you work because it's like pentacles is physical so i feel physically they're going to actually come and see you because they really really want to talk to you they they want to have an, a conversation they might give you a gift um i feel they're going to bring you a, a cup of coffee or they're going to ask you out to go ahead and have some coffee with them because they seem really interested in talking to you and have this conversation because for them it is really special and it's really important i also see this person being a little bit immature they are they could also mean that it could be a little bit younger than you but if it's not that this person is a little bit childish and that is why they keep on messing up you know like this person is really immature to be honest this person is and with the nine of cups and the devil right here um you're also in a way um you might be getting uh, a lot of attention recently because let's say that you had it on your profile that you were in a relationship and then you stopped and you put like i'm single now just be expecting a lot of like communication from other people like what i mean by that is like people asking you out or just you know hitting you up on dms or stuff like that because you are a really attractive being you know you're a really attractive person and there's a lot of people wanting to be with you you know i'm not saying they want to marry you but i'm not saying that that yeah they're interested in you and that is one of the things that is causing a lot of jealousy on your ex's side look at this they watch you from afar they they are quite obsessive and like i said like this connection feels kind of toxic in the beginning and then we got the devil card and the devil literally means um part of the meanings is toxicity here you know but this person they still have a little bit of trait when it comes to toxicity they have abandonment issues this person could also be dealing with addictions you know um any addiction like let's say from porn from commitment issues from drugs and alcohol you know this person does have all of that and besides the point this person does watch it watches you a lot this person uh feels like you are that theirs like they they don't really want you away from them even if they treat you the way they treat you they don't want you to leave it's like they feel like oh no you're the only one that makes me happy or no 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 you are mine that's the kind of energies i'm getting from your person with a death card right here um they might be in their own ways trying to work that out trying to change that perhaps um i feel like it's actually gonna take a long a longer time or or more time to work on that or to fix that completely because your person goes back and forth with really wanting to change and they come back and they go like oh no it's all done like i don't need to change you know like that is the kind of thing because change takes a lot of energy a lot of sacrifice and sometimes people when they see that they tend to to bail because it feels like oh my god i'm not gonna do all of that so that is the kind of energies they have you know they kind of try but somehow they feel that they have to pull back and they just do it drawn and they, they stop the process of changing whatever the toxicity is right and that is when they go back to step or square one. Then we got the chariot and the three of ones in the reverse right here. So this person um, clearly does not want you to go anywhere. So this person is coming in fast. So like, like I said before, be expecting this person to show showing up at your workplace or where you live because they really, really want to stop you from moving on with the three of ones right here. Um, if you are seeing somebody new or somebody wrote something on your profile, they watch, they saw that. And like I tell people, like it's 2021, it's not too hard to spy on somebody. You know, there's many websites that you could, even if you're blocked. Um, for example, if you have seen the show Catfish, <laughs> I love that show. They will teach you and show you like how many ways there is to find somebody's information, even if you're blocked or even if the person deleted their Facebook or whatever they have, you know, it is not that hard. So that I'm making that clear because people don't seem to understand that technology is here and it's really simple to use. So going back to the reading, right? This person is coming in fast with a lot of actions and just be careful because they have an energy of like, I'm not going to take that. The energies I'm getting from them is like, I'm not taking a no from an answer, you know? And it's like, they're really decisive. And uh, what I'm saying, be careful is because this person has a really, seems to have like a lot of anger or anger issues. And they actually want to be listened 
they want to be listened even if you tell them that you need time you know and they take that as an insult or as disrespect you know it's like they're a little bit messed up in the head you know with the three of ones right here um it's because they seem that you're not putting maybe as much effort as you did before. So that is what they want to do and they will be doing. Again, I'm not telling you to take this person back. Again, I'm not telling you anything besides what's going on, you know. That's pretty much my job, just to announce what will happen. So, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So what is this person's uh, real intentions with Virgo this time? Thank you, Spirit. We got the Ace of Swords. Then we got the Five of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Then we have the Knight of Swords. And the Four of Cups in the reverse. Thank you, Spirit. And we got the Four of Pentacles at the bottom. We got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. And the Ten of Wands in the reverse. And then we got the Three of Pentacles right here. Oh, my God. Look at this. We have also have the Magician and the Star card. They all caught my attention. Like, the energy dropped me to look at it and mention it. We got the Aquarius energy. We also have air signs such as Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius right here. So, um, I feel this person was not expecting to take this separation or this breakup as hard as they're taking it right now i feel like again this is, comes as a surprise for them because they were always under control um their emotions and all that and this time they can't um i'm not sure because i'm trying to connect with their energies and they feel really unsure like they don't really know how to control it they really don't understand why they can't control it so that's why i keep saying i don't know because they really don't know what's going on but they really know that they keep dreaming about you a lot that they really want to talk to you and they somehow it's like a need of like i need to talk to you i need to see you that's the kind of need it's a need that that you need to be careful sometimes because it could be obsessive it could be also uh codependency as well but um that's why they're gonna come back completely and talk to you that's why they can never walk away from you 100 percent then we got the ace of swords and the five of swords um the consequences of their actions are you know pain like pretty much hitting them on the face it's like you know like what you did now you gotta just live with it you know kind of situation so that is what's happened like their their actions are cutting up and with the five of swords it's like they can't move past that it's like it's too hard uh, i feel it's like some sort of guilt some sort of like it could be karma as well so people hate the word karma but it is what it is look it up online if you don't believe me right so um like I said before, I feel like, yeah, this is karma from their own, own actions. And the sad thing and the funny thing is that they only have themselves to blame. And they understand that. They used to uh, blame their past, their childhood, things that had happened before towards their actions. And right now, they only have them to blame because they know that you did give them a fair chance and they just never took it seriously then we got the queen of wands right here and the nine uh the knight of swords right here so right now because i mean you might have told them that you don't want to talk to them no more or so also by the way you can be dealing with a leo or sagittarius as well so um because you have like uh withdrawn from them that's why you haven't um spoke to them you have been maybe ignoring them and maybe trying to focus on yourself or so your healing that's why they're coming in rushing in because it's like they feel like they need to fix it because they don't want to lose you and they're realizing that hey you're you're technically could be here today and tomorrow you could be gone meaning that they've at one point thought they had you on the bag you know and right now they're realizing that no that that this time that when you told them you didn't want to talk to them, it was for real. So they're really, really worried. That's why they're coming in so quickly, trying to fix it, trying to, like, you know, communicate with you, trying to get you to talk to them, and pretty much, you know, they really want to fix it. Also, uh, wanna be, I want to say that you have to be careful with them because this person has a lot to work on, okay? And um, 
they could hurt you again and i feel that is something that you already know and i'm not even saying that they want to hurt you it's something um unintentional because this person is mentally a little bit unstable you know i'm trying to put it as nice as i can with words and somebody like them they have a really empty cup you know they can't really offer you much and whatever they offer you is exactly what they can legit so you have to be careful with them because they might hurt you again because it's not like a really steady and really secure energy this person could like come in try to fix it and when things are amazing they could just disappear or something could go wrong so you have to be really careful because again this person is trying to change but not really at the same time because you know actions will, will speak more than, louder than words you know with the four of cups and the four of pentacles yeah this person does miss you a lot and they they um they want to get back together they are in love with you i'm not gonna lie they are in love with you but again love is not always enough and that is why the four of cups is in reverse uh love is not enough here there's uh more involved in the situation or the equation they had to put good intentions and they have to actually they have to make it happen, you know, and at this point with the four of pentacles, they're really stuck on their ways. Um, they have some specific person that surrounds them. That could be a uh, friends with benefits or an ex or somebody specific, a somebody that lurks around their energy and they tempt this uh, your person to go back to their old ways. So unless he or she's uh, willing to let that go, it could be a friendship, it could be where they live or something, unless they're willing to let that go or, you know, do something, um, it's more, more likely or most likely written that they could actually fail, fail you again, you know, because there's a specific energy that is stuck to them or on like not on them on to them that they need to get rid of so again that's what i'm trying to tell you that hey yeah they're gonna come back around they're gonna say this and that but you have to be really careful because this person has the potential to hurt you and i know everybody's gonna be like well you know love and this and that but i'm legit saying that this specific person can hurt you again like very very badly and it can hurt you so badly that you will have really bad trust issues and if you already have them it's gonna increase so that's why you have to pretty much get all the information, gather all the information that you can if you were to get this person back because this person is gaslighting themselves and gaslights you a lot. So you have to be careful. That's all I can say. With the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands right here, they will promise you if whenever they come back around that if you, you take them back that you are not going to go through what you've been through. But with the Three of Pentacles right here, they might even ask you to get married or to live together or they're going to gain ask you to be engaged with them or so. You know, something important. But just make sure that they work those things in the, from the past. Just make sure that the promises of like hurting you or the promises that they let that friend go or that they're going to do this, they're going to do that. Just make sure that it's not just words. Just make sure that they actually have done, that they like if they have done something besides promising you that they have done it that actually is believable and that they can prove it okay because you do love this person but this person like i said before can hurt you a lot more than what they already have so that's why i'm asking you um uh, to get all the information besides i mean before you decide to jump in again you know i just don't want i will hate to see you hurt again you know so, what is the outcome in between this person and Virgo, please, and thank you, Spirit. So, we got the Empress card right here. We got the Libra energy here. We have the Strength card, Leo energy here. A lot of feminine, divine feminine. We got the Two of Wands right here. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups right here. And the lovers, Gemini energy can have overall energy. Please and thank you. We have the Queen of Swords again as the overall energy. And the Hermit in the reverse of Virgo. Your energy and the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck right next to the Five of Wands right here. So it's pretty much telling me that you have to step up. Okay, you get to stand up and just pretty much stop pretending or stop believing everything they say right away. Because it's going to hurt you. 
right now you need to ask actions you need to ask proof of whatever they're telling you that they're that they are they have done to change you need to ask action and proof of like whatever it is that they're telling you not just believe whatever they say blindly because that is going to actually at the end of the day go back at you and bite you and the leg because it's going to come back to life because again if you think they're lying to you they think like they're not being completely honest please double check before you go ahead and believe them okay uh with the empress in the strength card right here um this represents um fertility sometimes and transformation as well but in this case i always like to you know put a little bit announcement of if you're looking for a child this is the this is the month this is the person but if you don't want to have a child because you don't feel ready or just because you don't want to because it's your is your body it's your right uh you want to be careful because you have a good uh chance of being pregnant or having a kid with this person with the strength card right here is telling you that on the other side on the other story to put yourself first and to know your worth and i know it's kind of scary sometimes to confront people but i'm not saying to argue with them it just mean like okay if you promise me for example that you're not gonna see this person again what have you done just check their social media check everything or ask them to to show it to you because words are just that if they don't have actual proof because they could be telling you oh i'm not talking to them and they are talking to them you know just before anything if you really want this person it's more than fine because it's your life and i'm not gonna tell you what to do or what not to do um i'm just at least giving you options of like maybe not everything is green how they're at how they're telling you maybe it could be white and black you know or black and white so please make sure to find all the information and just be strong enough and have the courage to ask for proof and or receipt of whatever they're at telling you they actually have to take action now it's not just because you have given them fair chances um in the past so right now you need if you want the story to be different you have to ask them to show you with actions with little proof whatever it is that they're telling you with the two of ones and the eight of pentacles right here um it's telling you right here that this person if, if um you want to take them this person has to show you that they have changed they will have to put the extra mile and that is for you to know if you're going to take them or not because i also see new love wanting to come your way and we're going to go to that later but i see also that you have a chance to meet somebody new so if you were to take your past you want to make sure that they are putting the uh effort because you are valuable and you deserve this kind of effort i mean make sure that they're coming back because they want you not because you're accessible you know with the queen of uh, cups and the two i mean the lovers right here it's pretty much telling you that at this point now the balls are in your court okay you are the one who has the upper hand now so with this said it's like yes you have their heart but at this point it's like i said before and i want to say it again love is not enough they have to actually prove it so again i'm seeing here that you're gonna ask for some of you and this is like for some of you you're gonna ask for more than words you're gonna ask them like okay just show me that you change show me this give me proof and then you guys have a possibility of having a reunion you have a possibility of getting together and it has a possibility of working out this time okay but it's only if your person does put the effort and if it's more than just empty words you know and this is what i got for whoever is dealing with this kind of person as of right now so now we're gonna go with um career okay now let's go with new love okay what do we have for virgo and new love what do we have for virgo and new love thank you spirit so we have the nine of cups so you might be dealing with another water sign this is totally new this is of course um pisces cancer scorpio it could be one of those we got the five of cups right here we got the sun uh, i also see summer like that i don't see the year but i see summer we got the three of swords in reverse thank you spirit the eight of wands one more 
in the magician's card you can also be dealing with an air sign such as uh libra cancer i'm sorry libra gemini and or aquarius at the bottom right here we got the six of wands which is sort of representing of leo and sagittarius and then we got the four of pentacles right here so what is it telling me here so you're going to be dealing with a water sign for some of you this person um comes from far this person is like in a different country it could be it could be in a different state something like that or this person can this also could be representing as an energy new like a new energy maybe somebody that you haven't noticed or haven't or maybe you haven't thought of like being with them as a couple you know but there's somebody here that's been watching you for a while they've been having feelings for you for a while so um it could be a friend for others of you somebody that has noticed you and you haven't noticed them and that is why I'm telling you that they have seen you, that they know you, but not like in that personal level. I mean, like they know who you are. They might not even know your name at this point, but they know who you are. They were, they were to see you on the street, you know, and just be expecting um, unexpected um, confession or somebody just approaching you and maybe asking you out or giving you the flirtatious here and there and you're gonna be like oh this person is into me that is the kind of energy i'm um seeing here this person has like brownish ginger hair they have no if it's a male they have no beard and they have light eye light color eyes like um i mean skin oh my goodness a uh, light color skin and they have like bluish greenish eyes oh my god i got confused there with the five of cups right here um this person is not like the past like the past person or the past relationships this person is different this person has uh no acts that they are involving themselves with this person is not going to play you this person is totally different totally new also it could be represented as a fresh energy something that you haven't experienced before you know with the sun in reverse um again you're not expecting this person to come into your way because in a way some of you might be saying to yourself oh i'm done with love i'm done with people you know and it's also something that is hard for you to believe in love sometimes and it could be hard for you to believe in happiness because of whatever you have been going through in the past and it's understandable right here and again you might doubt this person because you have trust issues because not only because of your recent ex but you know in the past you know it's um it's hard sometimes and it's understandable like i'm not judging you here but uh, i'm telling you right here that you are safe to love it's safe for you to love you know like you don't have to be so afraid not everybody is the same and you should not judge a book by its cover you should give this person a chance if you want to if you are interested in them and you'll see that this person is more than meets the eye with the three of swords right here this person and you might have something in common in it and it is that you know heartbreak and everybody in life has at one point suffered from heartbreak and this person has the same as you and i feel you guys will have a nice connection a nice conversation and you guys are going to connect in most levels especially an emotional level you're gonna like this person because this person has a good quality which is a good listener and they pay attention to what you have to say and this is the kind of person that will surprise you with little things let's say that you said that you like um uh pink rose make making me i'm just making something up and one day out of the blue they're gonna bring you a pink rose and you're like how do you know that and they're gonna be like oh because i was uh that one day you told me this and you're gonna be really surprised because this person has a lot of like qualities that you will like but you will never expect it from them with the 801s right here you guys are gonna move fast which is you know um going out and um and maybe date perhaps or some of you you're gonna actually move in together this person um was around your life um around spring so that's why when they notice you when they start to have interest in you interest in you and that's something that they're gonna tell you as well there's also a lot of chemistry sexual um attraction as well and for fyi uh sex or intimacy seems to be pretty pretty good they seem really uh active when it comes to that really really intense and it's something that you might enjoy you know and with the magician card right here like i said before this is somebody that has their life planned or they have a pretty um visualization of what they want in life you know depends on uh, the age or what they do right and this person they have um they're the kind of person that is like a chameleon they will actually adapt 
through whatever situation they go in life. And this is somebody that's going to make you feel protected and make you feel like they got you, you know? And I'm going to have comments, people say like, oh, you don't need that, that, that is you. If you don't need anybody, that's you. But I'm just saying that your partner should be your rock here and there, of course. And the same way it goes your way and their way. And that is the situation that you're going to see this person as home. This is going to be your home. You know, as a person that you're going to feel like home. That is a feeling, not a legit thing, right? And this person also has a way of talking that you really, really like. And um, yeah, and this person seems to be really educated. Like this person seems to be liking a lot of books as well. So this person has a lot of qualities that you're going to like. Like I said before, this person has no beard if it's a male. And they have light skin and like bluish, greenish eyes. If it's a lady that you're dealing with, she has like wavy hair. <coughs> she has no bangs like my my wig right here like this and she has um blondish hair or dark brown, dark blonde hair with the four of pentacles and the six of wands this is a confirmation of you are safe to love you have to let go of that baggage you have to let go of that past because not everybody's here to get you because look at the six of wands this person is recognized or respected or were, or well known and if it's not like they're famous somebody could you could be there with somebody that could be famous like internet famous or so if it's not that it's somebody that if you were asked around you're gonna have really good feedback on so this seems to be a pretty nice energy a pretty nice guy pretty nice girl so you have a big chance to have a happy life or a happy relationship with this person so you know at the end of the day it's telling you that it's worth waiting for you know and that is what I have for you for um, for the new love. I see this month being really important. I saw 6, 8. I don't know what that means for you or what it can mean for you. So that is one of the things. So now we're going to go with career after career. Um, I'm going to go ahead with the messages, okay, with the angels' messages and, and so. So now let's going to go with virgo career what can you give me for virgo career and by the way new love could be for of course whoever is single and whoever you know does not want to do with the ex you want and then you want the new that is the possibility here for both of you you know so let's take a look at what we can see about your career okay virgo career what can you give me for virgo career so we got the king of pentacles right here oh big money coming your way honey Four of Wands. Oh, my God. Okay. We got the Emperor. Oh, you're going to like this. Aries Energy. The Magician card. Lib uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius Energy. Air Energy. Air Element. And then we got the Six of Swords. Oh, my God. You're going to be moving. You're going to be moving or relocating or... This could be moving legit from a different to a different apartment, a different house. Also, for some of you, you're going to be relocating just at work. And for others of you, you're going to be... Um, getting a new job how do i know all of that okay we got the king of pentacles and the four of wands for some of you you have been working a lot for with uh, a partnership or a project that you wanted and soon enough you're gonna have the capital to make that work or to make that idea flow you know uh, others of you you're gonna have a um i was gonna say race I was going to say erase, but I meant to say race. A race, a work. So it's going to help you. Uh, for some of you, this is a specific uh, a specific message. You're going to have um, that race, right? Or that bonus that you were waiting for just to fix something in your house or to get a house payment or something like that. Whatever it is that's involving a house, you're going to get it. Uh, others of you, whatever whatever this resonates, right? Sometimes I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. Um, it's just so many messages. Others of you who are getting a loan or you guys are you fi fi file somebody up and you are waiting on a call back from that loan you know to see where that loan goes you're gonna get the loan and you're gonna be able to get that new a house or that new a uh, car that you want others of you you're gonna get a promotion at work you're gonna become a supervisor and or a manager you know you can name it whatever it is it's gonna be a really like the bo the boss you know that's pretty much what i'm trying to say that's why i say supervisors and managers so you're gonna have a promotion as well that you know you've been working on you've been waiting on for a while and you're gonna get that and it's gonna make you really really happy other like for some of you you know you're not expecting this you're like you know what it is what it is but it's gonna happen really drastically um I will say like in four weeks, 
for some of you and all this of you could be four months um with the emperor right here and the magician right now like i said like some of you are gonna get that promotions all this of you are gonna get that that extra money that raise that is gonna actually help you put your life together um uh, if you were behind in any payments you're gonna be able to cut up like i said before you're gonna be given those uh tools for you to get your stuff together to get and go whatever it is that you want to go and it's telling you that you're going to be more than prepared. You're ready for that. Do not doubt it. Um, I see also changes. Changes in your surrounding. Where you're going to live. Where people are going to move. And stuff like that. So I see a lot of changes. And it's telling you that. To pretty much be preparing mentally. And being organized. Because if you leave things for the very last minute. It's going to take the best of you. And with the six of swords right here. It's pretty much. Um, you might be afraid, afraid of moving. Or staying away. Because. You might not be able to see family as much, but it's telling you that you have to trust your gut and you have to trust your intuition and you have to do things because they work for you. This is an important uh, decision. This is an important, um, I'm trying to find the word in English. I'm sorry. That's why I'm taking a little bit, an important leap for your career, for, for some, this is for some of you, uh, whatever you decide to do is going to pretty much affect your livelihood and your career okay so you have to make sure that you are making the best decision and you're making it because of you and you only and also i'm getting for the three of swords right here this is at the bottom of the deck some of other people that you're gonna be it could be family members or friends are gonna make you doubt they're gonna make you um doubt of like oh, are you doing the right thing are you sure that da, da, da. it's telling you right here to not listen to that to follow your intuition because again whatever you do is only for you and you only you are not here to please anybody but yourself this is your life and you should live it the best way of course responsible but the best way you want <coughs> With that said, let's take a look at the angels messages. I'm sorry, I know they are pretty long, but I'm just trying to please everybody's needs, you know. So that's why I'm making longer videos. So let's see what does your angels want you to know. Thank you, spirit. So we got we got four cards. I never get four cards, so let me read them. So we have the first one: healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle. Eat. A healthy diet get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health then we got compassion here it says soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved including yourself then we got comfort we have I am with you in the time on, on this time of need helping your heart to heal and then last one remember who you are you are a powerful loving and creative child of god you are very loved so you're not alone that is a, telling you that you're not alone so i also love to give numbers this could be classified as numerology if you want so all you need to do is find the meaning of this number online and you can go as spiritual meaning of the number you can go with angel number such and you can find extra guidance maybe connected to this reading or maybe connected to anything else in life that you might need uh, guidance on and for that you got oh my god number two number two is gonna be your number just make sure to find that number and that meaning and let's see i'm gonna give a prayer this is for whoever believes in prayers and likes them if you're not like that just don't worry about it um let it go but like i always like to remind people if my readings are for everybody so let's see what prayer do i have for very i'm gonna take that one so this is called today's prayers and this is 2 timothy 1 7. god did not give us a spirit of timidity but a spirit of power of love and of self-discipline so it's only right here to not be afraid that you got what it takes so with that said this is the end of your reading i want to thank you for staying around please like and subscribe like i tell everybody this is a growing channel so i do appreciate the support so thank you so much and i'll be back next week with more videos i hope i was able to help you guys out bless me